Let's talk about this thriller for a minute. How, how you, you loving, loving to spin it? But can't respect the time a nigga gotta put in to get it. Yeah, how you think I keep you outfitted? What about the house with the new couch in it? See what you've asked for, I outdid it. And now you want a doubt commitment? Oh yeah, the number that you found on the dress. That wasn't planned. What are we doing? We're saving the world. Collect the FM. We save our country. We save our society. We save our future. That's a good thing. The whole idea of empowerment. Well, you know, is part of the process. When people feel locked down. Not, the voting process may be one step towards, you know, you can't get no money, you can't do nothing unless you do something for community service and feeling connected is a, is a, a necessity for anybody trying to rise up out of the struggle, you know, so just getting a registration card is part of a, you know, it's an effort to, you know, to join in, you know, and uh, that's really something a lot of kids feel so locked down, not only don't they vote, but they don't participate in anything. Right, right, right. So and how do you also reconcile? Can I have one more question? Yeah, so I think that's part of the problem. That, you know, young people, uh, for jazz or blues or rock and roll or what they what they do, you know, all kinds of great art, uh, a great art. Theater, first of opera, you know, with Shakespeare wrote. I mean, the great writers. I mean, they don't never like young ideas and young energy. They, 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 their, their perception of, of young people to be like them or else, you know, that's okay. So it's, it's not new. That's something we've always okay. had. You know, sometimes the, the people's uh, uh, judgment, they don't even understand what young people are talking about. They make the curse words into curse, you know, uh, ideas, and they're not so, you know. They walk, you know, and they say they're sexist, but they're not sexist, and they say they're. You know, more, what else? more racist, more sexist, more homophobic, more none of those things, right? More optimistic, you know, you got more vision. And, and a lot of old people don't get that, but that's what you well, That's you. actually what makes thank them good. You. Okay, appreciate it. Excess Magazine. First of all, I want to ask you, how do we make it popular? How do we empower young people in their communities? I think it's not that we do it, it's the young people are doing it on their own. The rappers are doing what the young people ask. Otherwise, these people ain't... You know, these people are all the poets who feel what the community wants. Then they spit the rhymes about what the community, their voices for these voiceless people. These people want to vote. They want to empower themselves. They want them to start a movement. The movement is starting whether the rappers get involved or not. The rappers are just voicing what's really, what's, you know, what's really happening. They're not starting nothing. In fact, the movement, they just jumped on the ride. Right, rappers jump on the ride. They don't create it, they just express it. One more question. Just, just wanted to know what's, what's the future for the uh, Hip Hop Political Action Network after this election? What's in the future for the Hip Hop Action Network? Helping young people express themselves and give back to their community in various ways. The idea of pushing forward the agenda for people, the rappers, about the struggle, you know, almost. But the Eminem of 50 Cent is the same struggle. You know, and that, and that and uniting people who have the same struggle is what rap is very good at. That's what we're trying to make it feel. Uh, we're helping it do what it's doing to uh, live up to its mission already, yes sir. You are watching raw footage, the best in old school hip hop. Represent STL to the fullest. Excess magazine right there in your face. That's right. Excess